everyone, it's Amanda here from ScreenPinMommy.co.uk Thanks for joining me today and today I'm scrap lifting this little box um, which I got from the lovely Katrina King Now Katrina sells Sense or Sense, I think it's Sense with an S uh, uh, in the UK and that's like, it's, well it's wax melts and, and all the warmers and everything and I bought a monthly subscription box so far I can really recommend them, I'm going to leave a link in the description box below this video to her Facebook group so if you're in the UK and you like Sense, go on over and join her, she does a monthly subscription box and in her, in the box she sent me this lovely little box and I think it had Ritter Sport chocolate in, I can't quite remember and it's a little origami filled box um, and I thought I'm having that idea for my on stage swaps so I had a look how it was made and um, came up with the measurements whether they're exactly the same as Katrina's I couldn't tell you um, but it, it won't be far wrong so um, I'm using garden impressions and the reason I'm using it is because I've got loads of it <laughs> it's not been my favorite DSP because it's a it's quite busy for me um, but it's awesome um, for things like this where you want you want a busy pattern you know um, for cards I find busy patterns difficult but for something like this this busy paper is perfect because it, then it doesn't matter which way up you've got it and every angle that you look at you've got decoration and pattern and it's perfect it's beautiful and it is a six by six paper pad as well so it's a, you know it, it's brilliant it's the perfect for this project so I'm going to cut this to five and seven eighths by five and a half so there's very very little waste You've got that sliver there and that sliver there. I think we can get away with discarding that. I don't need to put that in a file, okay? I don't need to save that. <laughs> if you're saving scraps that big, you need to stop it. <laughs> right, so on the long side, I'm going to score, first of all, at 1 and 15 sixteenths. Again, if you work in centimetres, I will leave the centimetre conversions and the inches and the scores, everything over on my blog at scrimpingmama.co.uk there is a link in the description box below which will take you straight to this project alright um, and I've stolen it off Katrina I don't know where Katrina's got it from but origami folds are never normally anything new so I don't think it, it, it matters if you use it. So 1 and 15 sixteenths and 3 and 15 sixteenths. So you may well have seen this before. I've not invented it. I'm not claiming it as my own. I've stole it off Katrina. Um, <laughs> and then on the short side, I'm scoring at 3 quarters of an inch. So that's there, isn't it? 3 quarters of an inch. I want to score quite firmly so I can see the lines, but I don't want to go through the paper, so just be careful. Firm but gentle. <laughs> and then one and one eighth. Okay, one and one eighth. Make sure you do take time to make sure you've lined it up properly because when you're folding projects to close them, it makes a difference um, if you if you take time over getting those straight. Okay. I think have I done? Have I done? No, I've not done. <laughs> I'm taking my scoreboard away and I've not done. So that was three quarters of an inch, one and one eighth, and then I want to do three and one eighth. I'm thinking I've done for today and I can pack up and go home in a car. Three and one eighth. Three and one eighth and three and a half. Okay. Which is there. All right. Now I can move that. So I'll turn it over and I will... Fold and burnish those score lines. Okay. Hopefully I've got that. Doesn't look quite like I've got it right. Let me just readjust it. There we go. That's better. I think I've got that right. Yep. And then that one. And then that one. It can be tricky with busy paper. I'll just quickly fold out... Um, Katrina so that you can see this is what you're going to end up with so you're going to end up with two rows of three squares 
three narrow panels in the middle, a narrow panel there and a flap. Okay, that's basically the shape that you're going to end up with. So I'm going to, so this here we've got three panels, you probably can't see with the busy paper. There's three panels and there's two score lines, then a big square. I'm going to cut all of that away on that side first. And then I'm going to do the same at the other side. There. And there. And I'm just going to go back in at that side and give it a trim because it's about as straight as a nine bob note. There we go. Right here. So now what I'm going to do is I've, I've folded my score lines that way so I'm going to turn it the opposite way and each of these squares here we're going to score from the point where it joins there outwards on the four corners all right if you're clever you can probably fold the paper without doing this but I just think it gives a, a bit of a need to score so just remind me where where that is so there I want the small end there <laughs> right out to the far corner, quite uh, pressing on, and the same here, there's the corner, and out, and it's, you see where the lines have crossed over, so it's there, okay. You could do it in plain cardstock, you don't have to do it in DSP, but you know, it's a bit more of a frugal way of doing it. Maybe you've got a paper pad that is not your favourite, but we don't waste and we don't hoard, we use it. And this is an awesome way to make lots and lots and lots of the same thing very quickly and get that paper used up. No good sitting about. We've got new stuff coming soon. <laughs> and we've only got a couple of months. And we've got a whole heap of new items coming. So get use, get your stock used up. And then you've got room for the new goodies. So what we're going to do now, where we've done those diagonal scores, we're going to squeeze them with our finger and fold them in. It, it's the good old duck bill. You know, we do it regular on projects. I've done it just recently on something. Um, and if you just join those sides up you know you've got it straight go back in and give that a crease okay do the same on all four corners just press it down where the line is look for the corner and it should oops it's there look folding the wrong I'm folding the wrong line fold it up there there we go Give that a crease. All right, so you're just folding those in like that, and then where you've got the triangular fold like that, can you see it? You just burnish it and press it so that you end up with that. Okay, hopefully you can see. So there again. Okay, if we just give that a little bit of a little tiny bit of pressure because you've scored it there, it's going to want to go down. But don't forget, you've got this um, piece here, so don't try and uh, flatten all of that because you have got that ginnel or this or a snicky <laughs> or <laughs> whatever that little bit there, <laughs> ginnel. One's between trees and one's between a fence. I'll have to look it up. Ginnel and snicky. I think Snicket's between bushes and trees and that is like a walkway. I'm boring, aren't I? That's my history, uh, 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 farming history coming in. Right, so then all you do then, I was just checking that I'd done it right. So then all you do is you literally get your finger and your thumb in there and your finger in there and there like that and it will all fold together into each other, okay, like that. But then you've got this little pocket here. I mean, you have several if you wanted. You've got a little pocket there. Okay, so this is where we come in with our after eight mints. I've already eaten some. It's gonna. I'm gonna just have to just get on with these swaps and get them packed away. As I'm just gonna eat them all. <laughs> I'm terrible. I did it one year, and I was doing after eight mints, and I ate them all, and made myself feel sick, and then I had no swaps. So 
you know, the packaging on After Eights is ridiculously baggy. So just took it over like so. All right. And then slip that in there in that little that little bit there and it does fit and then this flap here will will just tuck in there okay and it will all tuck in nice and neat and tidy and that will hold that all shut okay and you've got this lovely little chocolate tablet box type thingy <laughs> all right but we're not going to stop there of course we're not because we're going to have to decorate it so i'm using my one and three eighths of an inch scallop circle punch on my one and a half inch normal circle punch all right and i'm using this stamp set it's my favorite when i want to make a quick sentiment with my circular punches and it's called a good day and it does coordinate with the scalloped circle punches and i think i'm going to have just for you because these are going to be on stage swaps and the, the other good thing about the garden impressions dsp is it's really helpful for you as a crafter because there's so many colours in it that just it wouldn't matter what colour you stamped with it, it would match. If you know what I mean. It's awesome. So you could stamp you could stamp that in green, you could stamp in orange, you could stamp in anything and it will match. So that that is another benefit of this um lovely busy paper. I'm just gonna check that. This stamp is actually clean because I am, can be naughty for not always remembering to clean my stamps. If I'm busy, I chuck them in the box so that I don't lose thinking. I'll put them straight in the box so that I don't lose them and then I forget to clean them. And then I come to use them the next time and I'm like, oh, that's disgusting. Right, so I'm using this one that says just for you. My desk is a hot mess. Stamp it there. And while I'm here, I'll stamp a full row because I will be using these. See how quick it is? Awesome. We like quick projects. We don't want to be at it for hours. So that will just fit nicely around that. It looks like a sunshine to me just for you. Okay, I might as well punch these out while I'm here. Show you how fast it is. Right, look how quick I've made those sentiments. Boom, good to go. No getting my big shot out. I love punches. Love them. So I've got some of this hanging about on my desk and it coordinates here. I think it's Melon Mambo. So just to pick up that bit of pink, I'm using my one and a half inch circle punch. All right here, I bring it in my stamping dimensionals. Stamping dimensionals. I love these, they're ace. All right, I've got my uh, lovely Victoria, who's part of my Stamping Up team, coming up to my house next week to help me with my on-stage swaps. So, um, yeah, this is what she's going to be helping me make, and we're going to make as many as we can um, because I, I'm terrible, and sometimes I have not done swaps. Other times I've taken them and f left them in the car. And this year I'm determined to give out as many swaps as I can to make up for uh, how rubbish I've been in previous years. So what you can do, have I put that in the right way? Yeah, it folds there. So what you can do to just make that look that little bit prettier, I have got, is that going to be too big? Let's have a look. I'm going to just punch. I'd like to use the Bitty Blooms, but it seems to have gone on back on. I think it's on back order, which is, you know, honestly, things are so popular at the moment that they're just flying off the shelves. So if there's something that you want in that spring summer catalogue or there's a celebration item that you want, please don't hesitate because they are selling out super fast this year. I mean, they always do, don't they? But... Um, am I having that? Or do I want it in Melon Mambo? Ooh, I'll, I'll stick with that. I won't mess about. So, I happen to know that the Bitty Blooms are due in soon, but they are on back order. So, I'm using my um, 
Blossom Builder Punch, oldie but goodie. Still got it in my stash. I think it's still current. You can still get it. It's awesome. Am I having a pearl? Let's have a pearl. Why not? Let's get a little pearl in the in the picture and finish those off nicely. Now, if I'm doing my on stage swaps, I might not use the flower. I don't know. We'll see. But there you go. What a great little gift. <laughs> you can make literally hundreds of these in no time. Great for your craft fairs. Give them away. Put your details on the back. Stick your details inside. However, and go and have some crafty, crafty fun. I leave all the details on my blog. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you again soon. And a huge thanks to Katrina. Um, and I will leave her details in my description box below. Bye for now.